If you look at a list of the most popular Linux distributions, Linux Mint and Cache OS are right there up at the top. However, they are not the same. They have different target audiences, they provide different desktop environments, and they have different sets of features. In this video, I want to compare the two, look at the different features, look at the different uh, audiences, and help you choose which is the best one for you. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so let's get into this. Now, I've written here more than Arch versus Ubuntu, even though this is actually Cache OS versus Linux Mint. If you don't know why I've written that, you will find out in a moment. Okay, so here are two quick screenshots. This is what we're comparing Cache OS with Linux Mint. They have different themes, obviously, uh, that's normal, but they also actually use two different desktop environments as well, and we'll talk more about that as we go along. So why did I mention Arch versus Ubuntu? In fact, it could be Arch versus uh, Debian. Well, the reason is, is that uh, Cache OS is based on Arch, and Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, and Ubuntu is based on Debian. So Arch uses a rolling release model, which means that you always have access to the latest software and kernel updates without needing to upgrade the entire version to, you know, 25.04 or whatever the next version number is. It's a rolling uh, release. But the negative side of that, there's no official long-term support version. So with Ubuntu, for example, you say that if you've got this particular version and they're published on Ubuntu's website, this is a long-term release version. You're going to guarantee to get, let's say, five years of support just for that version without needing to upgrade. You don't get that with Arch. Now, that can be a problem if you're if you're trying to establish something without it constantly changing, you want a fixed version, our software supports this version, it runs on this, and it will work like that for the next five years, you know, whatever. And also they use different package management systems, Pac-Man, as well as the Arch user repositories, uh, versus apt, snap, or flat pack if you're kind of in the Ubuntu uh, Debian world. So that's their base models. Now, of course, Cache OS and Linux Mint are built on top of those and bring a whole bunch of new features. Cache OS is aimed at power users and gamers who want performance and customization, whereas Mint is aimed at beginners and casual users seeking ease of use and stability. Uh, you get the rolling release model, which is what you get with Cache OS, versus the official kind of point release model, which you get with uh, Linux Mint. KDE is the default desktop for Cache OS. Cinnamon is the default desktop for Linux Mint. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And Cache OS prioritizes cutting edge tech and customization, whereas Mint prioritizes stability and long term support. So, really, two different, very different. Uh, aims, different philosophies, and you have to pick which one of those two camps you find yourself in. Now, I did say that KDE versus Cinnamon, both distros do offer alternative desktop environments. We will mention that in a moment. So let's have a look at Linux Mint a bit. So Linux Mint is based on Debian and Ubuntu. Linux Mint versions are tied to the Ubuntu long-term support releases. So uh, 20, Linux Mint 20 to 20.3 were based on Ubuntu 20.04. Linux Mint 21 is based on 22.04. Linux Mint 22 is based on 24.04 uh, uh, long-term support version of uh, Ubuntu. Linux Mint 22, for example, because of that long-term support, will be supported until 2029 without needing to upgrade the whole operating system. And it does come in three flavors. You've got the Cinnamon Edition, the XFCE Edition, the Mate Edition, and I am aware that I do pronounce that wrong. It is spelt Mate, so that's the way I pronounce it. Of course, they want you to pronounce it uh, mate, like cafe, but you need a, a, an accent over the E if that was how you spell it. And there's also a Debian edition, which we'll mention in a moment. So looking at the different flavors of Linux Mint, the Cinnamon edition, the most popular version of Linux Mint is the Cinnamon edition. Cinnamon is primarily developed for and by Linux Mint, so it's their own desktop environment that they focus on. It's slick, beautiful, and full of lovely features. 
Now the XFCE edition is a lightweight desktop, for certainly good for machines that have less uh, RAM, for example, or smaller hard drive, not so powerful uh, video card. So that is also an option that you can go for. And then there is the Mate Mate uh, version. That's the classic desktop environment. It's a continuation of GNOME version 2, which was Linux Mint's default desktop up until 2011. So they keep that one going uh, as well. And as I said, there is the Linux Mint uh, Debian edition. Its goal is to ensure that Linux Mint will continue to deliver the same user experience no matter what happens to Ubuntu. So Ubuntu, of course, is a run by Canonical, so it's a commercial operation. Uh, you can, of course, use Ubuntu for free. The source code is all for free. However, they have services and, uh, you know, uh, support contracts and things you can do uh, that give that a commercial backing. And actually, I personally think that's a good thing because you've actually got commercial uh, money being poured into this by the people that need it, and that helps all of us. But they're saying if that does disappear somehow, we can still create a version of Linux Mint based on uh, Deb Ian. So it aims to be as similar as possible to the Linux Mint uh, normal editions, but without using Ubuntu. So the package base is provided by Debian instead. If that kind of thing worries you, if that kind of thing concerns you, just know that's available for Linux Mint as well. So going on to Kashi OS, as I said, it's based on Arch, uh, but it offers a very easy uh, installation process, offers various customization, and there's a big focus on performance optimizations. Now, the Linux kernel that ships with Kashi OS uses the burst-oriented response enhancer scheduler. Uh, so that's not necessarily the normal scheduler that other Linux distributions opt to go for they are finding that that gives better performance in some circumstances. And really that is one of the keys about Cache OS. They're always trying to find ways to provide optimized um, packages, optimized kernel for your particular hardware. So for example, here there are versions of the kernel compiled for x86, 64, v3, v4, and for Zen 4 instructions, and it will use the right one according to what hardware uh, you have. It's got its own fork of Firefox with added security features and again, optimizations for performance. And the packages in the repository are compiled for either x86 v3 or x86 v4. If you don't know what this v3 v4 stuff is, I do have a video about that here on this channel that will give cover all of that if you are interested in that. And as we know, of course, it comes with KDE version 6 using Wayland, not using uh, x11. And it uses the Calamaris uh, installer, which means it is actually really easy to install. So we mentioned KDE there. What is KDE? So it's the graphical desktop environment for Linux and other Unix-like OSs. It was started in 1996 as a kind of a wordplay on CDE. So there was this thing called the common desktop environment, which was way back in the 90s, where the commercial Unix systems from all the big companies were trying to have a desktop that was the same or similar across them so they weren't so radically different that was cde you now get kde it's based on qt cute uh, which is a user interface uh, framework that means this is how you can say here's a menu bar here's a button here's a text edit field and so on like that and q2 itself is a dual licensed cross-platform application development framework for creating graphical user interfaces so there's a gpl version and there's a commercial version so very very popular uh, framework for creating graphical user interfaces and so we're on to KDE Plasma version 6, which came out in 2024. It changes the default display server, as I said, from X11 to Wayland, although X11 is still available and it's built on QT6. So um, this is one of the big differences again between Kashi OS and Linux Mint. You either got Cinnamon versus KDE. But having said that, as I've mentioned before, you can install plenty of other ones. So look, during the installation process here, you get to pick which one of these desktop environments you'd like. GNOME, of course, uh, XFCE, as I've just mentioned, that's available there on uh, Linux Mint, uh, Cinnamon, Budgie, uh, LXDE, LXQT, uh, Mate Mate, uh, Opa, you know, there's a whole long list. So one of the advantages of Cache OS is that you can actually just pick whatever you want. Again, the emphasis here is on bleeding edge, full customization. You pick what you want. And uh, that's kind of a different philosophy to 
stability this is what you get this is nice you can pick a couple of few flavors linux mint so you need to pick which camp you fall into so in summary choose cashy os if you want performance customization and you are comfortable maintaining your own system you don't mind doing a bit of system administration great for gamers and performance enthusiasts with the optimized kernels and the latest software the latest drivers if you prefer the rolling release, so you've always got the latest, and if you're into KDE, then definitely go with Cache OS. But if you want stability, simplicity, a user-friendly desktop experience, and you're familiar, let's say, with Windows, and you want to be able to come over with a low learning curve over to Linux, then you pick the Cinnamon Edition, the default edition of Linux Mint, and you can't go wrong, really. Okay, so there you go, Linux Mint and Cache OS. Love to hear from you in the comments which one are you using also love to hear from you if you'd like me to compare and contrast any other popular linux distros really happy to do that my name is gary sims this is gary explains i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and if you like this kind of videos then stick around by subscribing to the channel please also check out my patron page okay that's it i'll see you in the next one